What up, my people? This is Maisha Sanders from the Gumshoe Group. We're here with my boy, Black Casper, Living Proof, Living March Proof. 19th. March 19th. Gumshoe TV. Gumshoe TV. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. I'm blessed. I'm doing amazing. How you know? Because we here. Some people about Living Proof. Living Proof is just that, man. It's a, it's a great, great, great mixtape that I'm very, very proud of. I spent a lot of time, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into it, a lot of work into it. So I'm very proud of it, man. It drops March 19th, and it's a very, very good CD. Man. It's the best seven hours you can spend. That's what Living Proof is. It's the best seven hours you can spend. Um, you got any features on it? Uh, yeah, I have a few uh, features like uh, throughout the southern region, hot artists, uh, Max Manella's on there. I have Kevin Gates on there. I have uh, Boosie's artist, uh, Lil Jazz on there, uh, Shepard's on there. I don't have too too many features because it's mostly Casper, but I have enough to you know just you know put different touches on on music with different artists, but it's mostly Casper. Yeah, I have a few features. Oh. Um. I heard you got a uh, Big J and T-Mac hosting. Yeah, Big J and T-Mac. Shout out to Big J and T-Mac. Shout out to Pirates Radio. Shout out to Stacks on Big. They showed me a lot of love. They really embraced me as an artist. And, you know what I'm saying? Showed me a lot of love. So, uh, shout out to those guys. They're real, real hot right now. If you ain't got the Pirates mixtape or if you ain't got any of the mixtapes they done hosted, please get your hand on it. They're great guys to work with. So, shout out to them. Shout out to T-Mac. So, the title Living Proof, how did they come about? Like, how did Living Proof come about? When we first started working on my project, I actually didn't have a name. I just, you know, I just was in the studio. Me and Carlos, we were just getting it in on several nights and we were recording and recording and just trying to, you know, come up with greatness, come up with something that's timeless. And uh, the title Living Proof actually came about as far as me saying that I'm living proof. Like, I'm a living, breathing testament that it's another way out the ghetto than selling drugs or just being, you know, hip to sports or this, that, and the other. And I feel like music is my living proof. Like, I'm living proof that you can make a something or nothing out of, you know, out of something. So, I'm living proof. I'm a living, breathing testament that it's a better way out than having to step on someone's toes or own someone to make it the way you're trying to make it in life. Shout out to Johnny Jr. I'd be joking with him. That's my little private name for him. Shout out to Johnny Jr. He keeps me straight. He keeps me lacing. I would watch him. Shout out to Deuce. You know what I'm saying? Of course, watch. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Deuce. Shout out to Deuce. Shout out to Man, I recently, well, I'm not going to say recently because, you know, I had that sneak peek in that uh, <laughs> living proof. Yeah. But uh, I heard uh, Tears of Joy. Yeah. Bad track, man. Go hard. I appreciate it. Go hard really, anytime. Really, really, really. What's your motivation behind Tears of Joy? Like, what gave you a drive to, like, really just put what you put in with Tears of Joy? I, I feel like with my music, honestly, my shit, bro, if you don't like my music, you won't like me personally. My music is just is just what it is. It's my life. I feel like when I'm working on a project, it's like a miniature autobiography of what I'm going through in that time of my life. So when you hear me on a song saying, speaking about my mother's addiction, or speaking about my brother that served in 30 years, I'm not saying my mother has a drug addiction. Don't get it twisted. Don't get that misconstrued. My, my mother has a, a gambling addiction, and it really affected me as a child growing up. You know what I'm saying? But I think Tears of Joy is just that I'm very, very blessed to be 21 and doing a lot of the things that I'm doing, but at the same time, there's a lot of things in my life that are hard, you know, uneasy and not going so well. So Tears of Joy is this, just that. When I got the track from Gus, I was writing it as he was making it. Um, I don't even think that track was intended for me, but we was in a uh, bottom line studios and I was in my iPhone. It was me, you know, my artist Skinny, and we were just in there and I was writing to it. And I started to speak up the lyrics that I was writing to the track as he was making. And he was like, man, that track's for you. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it. I'm going to, you know, write the paperwork and I'm, I'm going to get you that track. So. I mean, I went in, I went in with the beat for like two or three days after I wrote the first verse at the studio and it came out to be a masterpiece. We actually released that song on YouTube and I honestly had like two or three hundred views within like a few days time. Like my phone was going crazy, my inbox was going crazy, people telling me how much they love this song and how much this song means to them and how real the song is and how it's going to, you know, change, how it's going to change the game if I keep that kind of music up. So, I mean, I'm, I was blessed to be blessed with that track from Gus, and it's just that. It's like, you know, just like my life is the motivation for my music. So, I really appreciate the feedback I've been getting from my track. Too. It's a joy. Check that out. So, um, you got your uh, single. I don't know if that's your single you're bringing up. Is what they like when Max Manelli wants to sing. Video coming soon. Video coming soon. Shout out to Gumshoe. Oh. 
How does that come about? I mean, Max is a uh, well-known artist in VR, and he worked with a lot of, well, I'm not gonna say like a lot, a lot of local artists, but Max do what he do in VR. Yeah. Um, me growing up, I, like I'm the youngest of four kids. Let's get this I'm the youngest of four kids. I have two older brothers and an older sister. So, I mean, when you young and you in the household, your big brothers, whatever they doing or whatever they into, you gonna be into it. So my brother used to jam it. Like I'm like. I remember getting put in T.O.R. because I was in class, you know, in like fifth grade. If you ain't never got to ask about shit because it's just me and my bitch. You know, I'm rapping Max. I'm eight, nine years old. It's like, you know, so, you know, I'm real young Max, bumping you that back. Kids in trouble, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it was like, it was a real, real blessing and a real, real pleasure to work with Max. And Max is such a humble guy after all the work he done put in and all the years that he's been doing this. And his legacy is so strong and his resume is so big for him to be able to work with an artist as small time as me, you know what I'm saying, to come and just, you know, react with me and interact with me to for us to make great music like that, it was a blessing, man, it was a pleasure, like, Max a real humble dude and, a, you know, a real great artist, so, that is my single, be on the lookout for it, is it what they like featuring Max Vanilli is on YouTube right now, go comment on it, give me reviews on it, so, shout out to Max, we shot the video, he came out to the scene, real humble guy, like, shout out to Max, like, for real. Um... After, I guess when you put, you know what I'm saying, Living Food out, once Living Food's mixtape drops, yeah. you do your promotion or whatever, yeah. shout out to your promotion, promotion. Uh, what are your expectations for it? I mean, what are you looking for Living Food to do? Are you looking forward to solidify a spot in VR hip hop scene, which is evolving, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's evolving big time in VR. I mean, we kind of moving away from certain music genres. We kind of come inside our own or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, what exactly are you looking for to do? I think with every artist, when they put out a when they put out a disc that they put their heart into, they expect the the greatest or you know the best for their project. Mm -hmm. But me myself, I just want it to be groundbreaking. I honestly want it to be timeless. Cause the reason that I got into music, period, because I feel like Baby Woods rap scene and music scene was tarnished. I feel like. We were accepting anything that the artists would put out, anything that was popping in the clubs, it was it was popping us, you know what I'm saying? And with the music industry, you have to have a love-hate relationship with music because me being an artist that's been in the game for six years roughly, I'm 21 now, I started rapping when I was 15. I used to be pissed at the jig artists or artists like Soldier Boy and this, that, and the other that were that were doing their thing. And I'm like, I go way harder than these guys. And I feel like my content is stronger and my message is stronger. But you got to understand, anyone that's trying to get themselves out of the financial situation at the end, I salute them and I respect it 100%. But when you take time and really put time into your craft and you really bless with a talent, it hurts you so much to see that you being put on the back burner or your music is not being respected just as much as other, another artist's music. So I expect it to be great, man. I really put my heart into this CD and I give I give the people a lot of music. I'm not stingy with my music because I'm a great artist. I feel like I can come up with music. So any track you get from me will have 20 plus songs, especially if it's a mixtape. I love playing with other guys' beats and if I feel like I can get on your beat and do more than what you did with it, I ain't gonna touch it. So, I mean, I, I expect it to be timeless. I expect it to be groundbreaking. I think it, it should be... It should be very, it should be put in the history of Baton Rouge music on this way. That's what I expect. I see expectations. So, I mean, are you going outside of VR with Living Proof? I mean, are you, are you looking to go to the southern regions? Are you looking to branch out? I mean, because I feel like an artist, in order for them to see great success, I feel like they got to go outside of VR and like really make it happen. I mean, because it's, it's there for you to do. Yeah. Or do you plan on like expanding? I mean, I, I, I definitely, I definitely plan on expanding it. See, with my music, I feel like I can expand it. Certain artists are just confined to a box, confined into a box of southern music. Like, I feel like my music can be played up north. I feel like my music can be played on the east coast, on the west coast, or wherever you, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I got music for all genres, all races, all, you know, ages. So I definitely, I have, um, I have a cousin that lives in Minneapolis, Minnesota. She said my music has been getting great reviews. I emailed her a couple of tracks. She sent it out some of the uh, local radio stations. So they loving me up north in Minneapolis. Shout out to everybody in Minneapolis that's rocking with me. Shout out to people that inbox me on Facebook telling me they appreciate my music in Minneapolis. I mean, I'm definitely going to branch out into other areas and uh, other places in my music. I definitely, I definitely will try to. Um, if anyone knows, because I know Casper you know, Casper's from Glen Oaks to Jungle or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And Casper has a, a love, a deep, deep, deep soul pits of the stomach love <laughs> for the handy. <laughs> Little man, handy. tell about your little handy love, man. Tell Rest everybody in peace, little handy. Christopher 
Sean Handy was an artist that took music and made it feel so much realer to the person that's from Glen Oaks. If you're from Baton Rouge and you're from Glen Oaks, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Even if you're not from Glen Oaks, if you're from Louisiana, just period, this boy following was amazing. When I first heard uh, Handy, I was probably about 14 years old. I actually remember my first rap containing something about Handy in it because he was like my inspiration. I used to think that music was something that, you know, these guys are just, you know, born into money and this is just something that just happens to them. They just, the lucky people just happen to. But for something like that to be happening to a guy that was raised right up the street from me, it was amazing. His talent and his his voice, his his individuality with his music, you knew his presence when he was on a song. And for him to be that young and doing the type of stuff that he was doing, but he was a, he's a very, very amazing artist. That's my favorite rapper. Like, that's my favorite rapper. I, I've been listening to Handy since, since, like I said, since I was 14 years old, and I still listen to him to this day. So, much love and respect to Handy. Much love and, you know, my, my you know, every, all my, my heart goes out to his family and everybody that was involved with him as far as his music. Much love to Cliff Big Boy who put him on with Grind Time and see him. Yes, I really love him. And I dedicated my first video to Handy, too. Uh, so, y'all gonna see me with the Handy shirts and all that. Shout out to Reginald who designed those. Handy was a great, great artist. I really respect him. I'm glad that you even spoke on that. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, what's your name? We're about to wrap it up or whatever. Let them uh, you know, say, give me a little bit of your contact information where they can get CD from when it drops. Okay, the CD drops March 19th. Uh, Living Proof, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's in a great CD. It can be picked up at uh, Music Treasure Chest, Urban Sports on Green Road, Springs Road. And if you can't get it out of stores, you can call 225 329 8602. That's my manager, Ashanti Orell. She's actually in Atlanta trying to work on me some stuff right now now as we speak so uh if you can get it out of stores please hit one of those contact numbers up and we will personally deliver it to you it's only seven dollars the best seven dollars you could possibly spend man so it's gonna be great just you know please try to get your hands on it all right, all right people we got a uh, living proof march 19th in the streets uh video is it what they like man it's your girl maisha with the gumshoe group you can hit us up at uh on youtube gumshoe 09 uh, gumshoe at yahoo.com. You can hit me up on Twitter at Gumshoe Group. Oh, follow me on Twitter also. I have a Twitter. And I do control my Twitter from my iPhone. For all the people that are saying I didn't control my Twitter, Ashanti does not run my Twitter. I run my Twitter most of the time. So if you really want to get at me, I'll be controlling my Twitter out of my iPhone. It's at black underscore Casper. So, you know, you can hit me up on Twitter and you can hit me up on Facebook, facebook.com uh, backslash black Casper's music. Music spelled M U S I K. Up. We got uh, Chase and Grind for the next interview. My boy Black Casper. Uh, one more question for the women, though, man. Boxes or briefs? Oh, boxes or briefs? Man, I like boxes, bro. I don't like my packages to be all crammed <laughs> up, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, man. yeah, definitely. Boxes definitely boxes. That was, yeah, that was weird. All right, you can catch my boy Black Casper riding around in somebody's Camaro or Georgia. That's how he rides. Oh, rockin', yeah, I do saying. it, man. I do it. Y'all see me on Facebook. I'm pulling out the whips. All you rap cats, I'm pulling out the whips. And I don't be, I be having the whips to match my Chuck Taylors for the week. Whatever my stylist called me and Drea, she'd be like, we got a, a yellow marrow for you, I go with the yellow. We got the red marrow for you, I go with the red. We got the purple marrow, I go with the purple. So I'll be switching up. So you rap cats need to catch me, man. And if you in, uh, if you in Miami in June, I will be in Miami in June, you know, promoting and putting out my music. So catch me in Miami this summer. And the pink Camaro with the pink chucks. Oh, on. cut it out. Nope. Give it up there. <laughs> Gumshoe style, <laughs> this, so gum This style. is the, uh, the mixtape, man. Living proof the mixtape. Please get your hands on it. It's great, bro. Alright my boy, we up out of here. Sure. Gumshoe getting it in. Holla. Yeah. Yeah.